Hey everybody, how's it going? It's your man here, Kater85, and I am back for another installment of my Let's Play Pokemon Meteor 2. And today, you guys, were, as I said in the last episode, hopefully going to be getting out of South Fuso. Hopefully, because, goddamn, I, I really want to get out of here and actually be able to explore an expansive region. But as of right now, we can't do that. Anyways, let's take a very limited... Well, I did this last episode. Let's take a quick look at our very limited party. Jeez. First up, uh, new member, we have Hothead, level 8. Chimchar holding the Lucky Egg with Scratch, Leer, and Ember. Next, we have Vanilla, our level 11 Eevee with Double Kick, Tackle, Tail Whip, and Sand Attack holding the Shellville. Not sure if I said that. And finally, we have Luna, our level 10 Chinchow, holding the Eevee Light with Electro Ball, Bubble, Psybeam, and Thunder Wave. And that's it. You know, I don't, obviously, like, there isn't, uh, there aren't gyms in this game. Um, I don't know if, you've know if you know that yet, but there aren't. Um, and uh, I guess I have to go by levels now, so hopefully... By the time we get to level 20, we have a fourth Pokemon and so on and so forth. I think that's I think that's probably a good model because you'll have five at at 30 and six at 40, which I think is probably good. Uh, anyways, obviously it won't be like exactly that, but it looks like we can actually go in here now. And there's also a citrus berry here, so that's cool. Anyways, um, I do have stuff to talk about. But it looks like now is not the time. Looks like now is not the time. Very intrigued by this music. Oh, okay. Gah, some disrespectful millennial ignored my authority and went right by me. But I'm not going to let it happen again. Scram. Ministry of Justice. Oh, this is this is the Ministry of Justice, people. I see. Wait, what? Okay, wait. This goes a little too hard for just a grunt. Just saying. We don't need the hard ass, like, electric guitars. Like, just yet. Just not yet. Not yet. Okay, we're facing a Zubat. We have freaking people yelling in the background with vocals. <laughs> What's going on here? This, this music choice. <laughs> Are you kind of, there's kind of a little bit of funk in it, but it's mostly just hard head rocking, just full on, just at you rock, which is something. Let me say that and let me make that abundantly clear. Anyways, let's go ahead and ember this thing and burn will be able to take it down. So down goes the Zubat. That's nice. Let's see if we can get to level nine from this. We can. I like to see that. I can see that hothead at level 9 learned to taunt. What about Envy gets to level 10? Jeez. Where's the double kick? Anyways, uh, down is down goes Andrew. You best believe we're about to heal. Especially in these early, with these early trainers. I'm not going to uh, risk anything like that. Anyways. Um, I don't know. Uh, one thing that I am going to say, at least with this Pokemon Center music, and I guess kind of with the outside music... I record every episode at night. Wait. Is my... What? Seems like my OBS is lagging. Maybe I'm just being an idiot. But, um... This is, like, very good night music, right? But if this was, like, day music... I'm not sure I'd like it. So, I... Hope there's different music for the day. Okay, um... Just, this is a very large house. Um, yeah, sure, we'll, wait, what? Excuse me, there's wild Pokemon in here. Oh my god, a Yamask. How do these things evolve? Honestly, like, I would consider using one of these. Like, I really have enjoyed the Pokemon selection so far. Um, why am I fighting? Um, although I did use a Yamask in, uh, why is that the page that comes up? Bulbapedia, please. Um, I did use a Yamask in... Uh, he evolves into Kafka Grigus at 34. 
Not, I, I don't think just yet. Not just yet. So is this person a trainer? Are you a trainer? Fun fact, the copper wirings from this house can be sold to crackheads. Crackheads then sell the copper wiring to buy more crack. Isn't the world a beautiful place? This is definitely, it feels like, there's definitely some part of this game that has to be influenced by 1984. Like, there's no way that part of this game isn't influenced by 1984. I don't understand either why there are wild Pokemon. I don't know. Honestly, here's an issue that I'm having. Because I don't know if I want to praise the Pokemon selection or if it's just like I've said I want to use like different Pokemon. So I see a Pokemon that I haven't used a while, like ever, and like it's a Pokemon that's not common in other fan games. I'm like, I kind of want to use it. Which sucks because I'm using a Chimchar, but I'm never going to. Um. I'm never going to like say no to using a Chimchar. Like, I don't know about you guys, but if you have the opportunity to use your favorite Pokemon in every series. I'm going to take it, like, man, so we're going to sell his stuff to make up for it. Ooh, I see what's going on here. We got uh, two ghost gems. Um, what do you have to say? Coffee table, check. Microwave, check. Copper wiring to sell to crackheads, check. Dr. Dr. Daiichi is going to be impressed. I hope he I get a raise. It's not just you doing all this work, my good sir. You're kind of just hiding in a corner. Okay, um, interesting ch tile choice. You have another, um, you have another, uh, I don't know. I really like the intro. Kind of just like the toned down stuff, but I just think, I think the grunt music just goes a little too hard, dude. <laughs> With the full on electric guitars, it goes hard, but it's grunt music. <laughs> But then again, I don't know if I'd like this for a ba boss battle either, because there's like no melody. I guess that's kind of the issue I have with this, because there's not really a melody to this. And I feel like with the evil teams, you need a melody. I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking things, but who knows. Anyways, we're going to take out the Zubat here with an Ember. I forget that we also have the Lucky Egg on this thing. So, you know, we're gaining levels very quickly very quickly with this thing okay let's go ahead and switch luna up front and let's go ahead and go up oh well here we are hello kate i think these prison people are trying to hurt mr takanashi we have to save him i'm all tied up at the moment but please take on the others oh we can't excuse me i will go around talk to all of you why do you care so much about some criminal scumbag the old man couldn't even be bothered to pay his dues on time yeah, we're kind of looking for something else, and uh, you don't know what we're looking for. So, that's that. Alright, we got another Chingling here. Another thing that's questioning is why not every Ministry of Justice member will be fighting us, which, I don't know, it's kind of interesting. Oh, well, I guess we know where we're supposed to be going. Hello. Look at this Millennial Snowflake. Ready to get crushed? Why is it... What What's the big deal of us being millennials? Like, what? Excuse me? My High and Michelle. C.O.'s. Okay. Two Zubats. We've got Luna and Vanilla. Let's go ahead and Electro Ball the first Zubat. And let's go ahead and tackle the other one. That doesn't actually take it down. Wow, I'm surprised. Well, whatever. Whatever. Leech Life comes into Chin Chow. And another Leech Life comes in. And there we go. Okay, well. Uh, what we can do now is we can Electro Ball the other Zubat. And then we can reverse the order of this and tackle. Yeah, that Zubat. And that should take out that Zubat, and we should also be able to take out the other Zubat as well. I assume. Okay, let's go ahead and tackle here. And down goes the Zubat. There we go. Almost level 11 on Luna. It's cool, and... Oh, they've got more Pokemon. Okay, this thing's level 13. 
Well, what? we do have side beams, so we can go ahead and do that. And we'll just stab tackle into it, I guess. Um, it's 2v1, so we hopefully shouldn't have too much of an issue taking it out. Um, we'll see what this thing throws at us. It's going to go ahead and amnesia. Interesting. Uh, and it also has an Orin Berry. Okay. Though I still think with a Psybeam and Tackle, we should be able to take this thing down. We'll see, though. Actually, never mind. We definitely won't be able to. I forgot about the Amnesia. However, getting the Confusion is nice. I mean, I'm never going to complain about that. Let's see if it hits itself. It does, and that will take out the Gulpin. There we go. Down you go. And... We'll get to level 11 on Luna. Okay. I thought there was only going to be two Pokemon. But uh, there we go. Almost level 12 on Vanilla. And down go the uh, COs. They just freaking scram. Hello, my good sir. Hello, Kurt. Those scoundrels are stealing whatever I have left. I'm far too old to fight. All I could have done was sit and watch. From the bottom of my heart, I sincerely thank the two of you. It has been a long time since I last saw kindness. You're welcome, sir. Uh, but if you don't mind us asking, who are those people? And why are they taking your belongings? Years ago, I had once ran for political office. Of course, politics is no cheap business. I needed funding for my campaign. My brother and I had founded the gr once great engineering firm called the Taka Corporation. Our company was responsible for many large infrastructural projects around the world. Chances are you've probably encountered a Taka Corporation product at some point in your life. My brother was, was conducting criminal schemes behind my back. He even conspired with the Team Rocket Crime Syndicate to murder people. I truly didn't know he did such terrible things, but nobody believed me. My campaign was killed. My name was slandered. His greed destroyed both of our lives. My brother died shortly after the allegations were published by the media. Why did they punish you, though? You didn't actually order the killings, right? That is true, but the Ministry of Justice refuses to listen to me. Since then, they've kept me under house arrest for election fraud and various other charges I didn't even know existed. And as, and as for those fellows in the uniforms, they are the correctional officers from the Crook Island Prison. They come here weekly to torment me. As ordered by their prison warden. Maybe I, I'm going to... Maybe I'm going senile, but sometimes I just don't get the feeling that there's some sort of personal vendetta against me. The attacks feel personal. As if I somehow hurt someone dear to them or something. Look, if you're innocent, you're innocent. You shouldn't be punished for crimes you didn't commit just because you were, you're his brother. People shouldn't be collectively punished for the actions of one bad apple. Thank you for your touching words and kind actions. I wish I could repeat pay you in some way, but my bank account has been wiped clean. Well, well, actually there is a way. Actually, there is one thing, but you have to promise you don't tell anyone. You have my word. Okay. <laughs> you're just gonna, you're just not gonna ask for the password. You're just gonna be like, oh, so by the way, we're actually gonna be running away from the island. Okay, so my friend and I have been planning on defecting from South Fuso via the Fuso sewers. Problem is that is that the sewer levels are too high for us to walk on. We tried to use the switch, but it didn't work. Then we found a note that mentioned you, and that's why we're here. Fuso sewers! That was the first project Taka Corporation had finished in the Fuso region. I have a nostalgic longing for those times. As for the password, hmm. Ah, here it is. The password is Taka. Probably not the most ideal password, but I'll take it. Thank you, sir. Uh, we should be going soon before we draw any more attention. And thank you, you two, once again. Please be safe out there. Cade, meet me outside when you're ready. I'll be by the sea. Why by the sea? What? What do you have to say? Thank you. Please be safe out there. Okay. Um. Hmm. Meanwhile, what's going on here? What is this? this? Is this like a political mansion? Or like, what is going on here? 
Thank you, Governor Drakensberg, for having us here. You're very welcome. So continuing where we left off last time, you were discussing the government's plans for financing this year's Chiba, Chiba, Chiba Cup competition. It is forecasted that the tourist population will increase by another 5.5%, with projections showing a 500% increase in tourists since your government was elected in 2010. These are fake numbers, by the way. I'm calling it now. Correct. That is astounding growth. Back in 2010, the total amount of tourists was below 300. Many economists have attributed this success to your government's economic policies. These trends are really unsurprising to us, although admittedly, we did not expect for the tourism to turn out to be this high in our earlier estimates. As a direct result of the brilliancy of the Fuso Economic Action Plan, we have been able to generate consistent and increasing revenue for nation-building projects such as infrastructure for the Chiba Cup competition. Politicians and economists, economists, Jesus Christ, around the world have been scratching their heads trying to figure out the Drakensberg government's recipe to prosperity. Can you describe, in your own words, exactly what this recipe entails? Well, I can. Guess what it is? Literally just screwing over half of your population and making them work in the mines. I'm just going to say that right now. Uh, unfortunately, I will not be able to disclose too much. This is highly sensitive political intelligence. What? Did you just say you just let people spend? I don't know. Come on now. You, you probably did something like lower the prices on stuff. I don't know. Political intelligence revealing such things carelessly would compromise national security. From foreign election meddling to domestic ter terrorism, such recklessness could put all of our lives in jeopardy. What? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, uh. the discovery of raw minerals in the South Fuso mines has been the beating heart of Fuso City's economic success, no doubt. Speaking of South Fuso, how are the workers faring there? There has been some criticism for organized labor representatives in regards to the working conditions there. There's been a lot of rumors. And it's important that we learn to distinguish between what is factual and what is... Uh, and what is sensational or even fake. The advent of the interest in social media has allowed a variety of informations to proliferate regardless of truth. Suffice to say, the, work the workers are compensated fairly. They, li they work in safe conditions. If it's not safe, we wouldn't approve it. I see. This concludes our interview. On behalf of Hot Fusoa News, we thank you for your time and permission to air this footage. Close captioning brought to you by Chiba Corporation. Hmm, I don't know if those are fake numbers, but very, very interesting, might, might I, might I say. Very interesting. No, I'm getting the kind of, uh, fuck, what's his name? I always forget his first name. It's the, fuck. The fuck. Um, can I, uh, Fidel Castro, dude, why was I thinking Julian Castro? Is that his, like, son? I think that's his son, Fidel Castro. Yeah, so I feel like this, this largely reminds me of Fidel Castro, largely a kind of kind of as a teen got started in like a revolution type of thing uh, and kind of reminds me of the main character and I guess probably the situation that's going on uh, as of right now in the Fusa region um, but I'm not trying to make real life comparisons you know uh, you know it's anyways um, yeah let's let's keep it light <laughs> Let's keep it light. Okay, so we have three level 11s, which is kind of nice. Uh, I don't know why we're... The docks? Excuse me. The docks are... Are there more docks somewhere? Oh, there there she is. Okay. Um, I don't think there's really anything else to do here. If there is, then let's 
let's do it, but I, I guess I guess we'll just continue on and talk to Karika. Karika, excuse me. Hey, took you long enough. I'm glad you can make it. It's been a pretty rough ride lately, I swear. It feels like my brain has been melting these last few days. What was that, like the wind or something like that? I can't sleep. I've been wide awake these last few nights thinking about him. Has he reached Fuso City safely? Is he even alive? It's just been eating at my mind. Our parents were working in the mines before I was born. Because I'd never see them in the day, he'd be the one to look after me. In that aspect, he was more than simply a brother to me. That's why finding him means a lot to me. Even if it means risking everything. Our opponents hate us. This world hates us. They want to destroy everything that we cherish. It sucks, but that's reality. And we have to accept that fact. But I'm not going to let other people decide my own fate for me. There will be opposition, yes. And that's why we have to toughen ourselves and our Pokemon. Cade, are you ready? Are your Pokemon able to step up to the plate? I would say so. Alright, but realize I'm not going to pull any punches. Good luck. Oh, what? We're facing Karika? Like, come on, we're just going to destroy her. Cle based on her Pokemon? Based on her not being able to help? Oh, wait, she's got a shiny Nidoran. What? This is, this is some... Bull! That's all I'm gonna say, but... Um, so, let's think, let's think, let's go ahead, let's side beam. We have, a, we have a super effective psychic attack move that's doing a good amount of damage and we get the confusion. What is going on with the added effects in this game? Like, every like extra effect is happening. I don't know, we're going to take the, the confusion. Not sure what would come for us if uh, that was the case, but... Who knows? Um, Joltik is next. Uh, let's go into Hothead. Alright. Level 13 on the Joltik. Let's go ahead, Ember here. Poison Sing comes out. Um, it clearly didn't do too much damage to us. Uh, Ember, this is a little bit under half. Uh, we're just going to hope that we don't get poisoned. Knock on wood real quick. Of course we get poisoned. Because why wouldn't we, let's be honest. Uh, however, I still think we'll be able to uh, take this thing out. It will just be a matter of uh, what the next Pokemon is. Uh, although there is a potion. Um, I don't really think that matters. Uh, as long as she doesn't have too many more potions. Um, we do get the burn as well. So I guess... Uh, each Pokemon will be taking uh, the same amount of chip damage, I guess, each turn. Let's see what goes on here. Poison Sting comes out. We survive that pretty easily. And Ember is going to go ahead and take out the Joltik. Okay. Alright. So, Hothead is level 12 here. Almost level 13 as well. She's that lucky it is kind of broken. Shuckle is going to be the next Mon in. Let's go into vanilla. We have double kick, which I don't know how good that's going to be because I do believe bug resists fighting, but I'm not entirely sure. This thing is level 15. Why couldn't you stand up for yourself? Oh, wait. We have adaptability. I forgot about that. Okay, that's not doing anything. Rock Blast is going to be doing much more to us, I would assume. I mean, Chuckle doesn't really have that much attack either. So... I'm honestly just kind of glad that... Let's actually Tail Whip. Let's Tail Whip it... Uh... Twice. Obviously... Wait, was Rock Blast resisted? Last time? It won't be resisted now. Yeah, it's not going to be resisted now. Of course it's going to get a 5 hit, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. That's cool. It brings us down to 3 health. Okay. 
I mean, obviously we die this turn either way, so we do kind of have to heal. We have to hope for a good roll on Rock Blast. Um, which kind of sucks. If we can get a nice two hit, of course. Okay, we get three hit. Okay. I screw it. Honestly, honestly, whatever. We might be able to survive a two hit. That's not doing that much damage still. Oh, we do get some health back from the shell bell here, which is one HP probably. Okay, never mind. We're gonna die here. Yeah. All right, that sucks. Down goes Eevee. We don't have another. Uh, we don't have another uh, physical move that's uh, just normal effective on it. Um. I guess we can try Electro Ball. See how much damage that does. That's doing a decent amount. It's okay. It's going for Withdraw now, which is okay. We should be sticking here. Of course, this thing has an Orin Berry. God dang it! This sucks, dude. Well, we do resist Rock Blast. That's why is that doing so much damage, dude? It's still doing so much damage. We just have to get lucky with Rock Blast at this point. Uh, we get a two hit. Whatever. I don't know why I'm doing this. Because this is going to take us out, isn't it? Yeah, why did I do that? Not sure why I did that, honestly. And of course, Hothead is poisoned. I don't think an Ember takes this thing out. Uh, we can try. <laughs> we can try. That does nothing. Huh. Well, we lose against the Shuckle. Um, I'm not a fan of that for two reasons. Um, They're nearly brain dead. What did you do to your Pokemon? Okay, please calm down. Calm down, Nurse Joy. It's not... Okay, um, so what'd she lead off with? The Nidoran. Okay, we got pretty lucky with the Nidoran. Um, here's, like, the issue I have. It's, like, two th reasons why I don't like that. Number one, um, nothing has been that difficult in this game so far. So, I don't, I don't understand the sudden like large jump in levels um and i also don't understand that she we like she lost to like those grunts she lost to at least one of those grunts somewhere one of the cops or something like that and for her to have a very powerful team that doesn't really make sense especially with a shuckle which is incredibly defensive uh it just seems like next time we have to play our cards right um but i think i'm gonna grind a little bit in between episodes and we're gonna end off today's episode here uh just because i don't see us uh if we do another battle against karika she's definitely good it's definitely going to take a while so we're just gonna just wait um so if you guys enjoyed today's episode make sure to mock punch that like button and of course subscribe if you guys have not if you don't want to miss out on what's going on here uh but with that you guys i'm gonna get about this is Kater85 signing out. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have yourselves a good day.